All right, I'm a bit late, everyone. Sorry about that. Um, so I was gonna react to this um, this conflict that Bill Rogan had with a woman, with an older woman named Lydia Lunch. They had this conflict a, a long time ago. It was like back in 2007 or maybe even earlier. It was uploaded in 2007. So I'm going to show this conflict he has. Like they almost got into a, a fight. Okay, let's see. This, this video was called Joe Rogan versus Feminist. They purposely named it this, like, I guess to attract hate towards this woman because a lot of people on, a lot of men on YouTube, they hate feminists. Like, you should see their comments. Um, and yeah, Joe Rogan, even in his older days, he, he still trashes feminism and he still talks about all these gender roles and all these, like, incels. Um, the younger ones would listen to him. But as soon as he talks about video games, like, they get upset with him. Like, all these men on the internet, they'll, they'll cling to any, um, so-called role model who, who bashes feminism or bashes women in general. Because, like, so many people on YouTube, they hate feminism, right? So, like I said, since this guy named it this, um, it's the, the comments will probably like the comments did indeed side with Joe Rogan and they were hating on the woman. I like, just read this. Like before censorship, he like. There were actually comments encouraging violence against the woman. You can still see them in the newest first section, but like, that just tells you, like, like if you name a video someone versus a feminist, the men, the brain dead men on YouTube, they, they'll automatically um, side with the guy and hate on the woman. So let's play this. You guys watching? Hi, William. Oh, that's another subject. Okay, let's play this. What does she talk like? She talks like some Saturday Night Live character. Hi, I'm Lydia Lunch. I think I'm just getting material, so I thought I'd run it. Say what? I think I'm just getting material, so I thought I would just cut it. Sorry, it's not really working, though. I'm not for any. We're cheap. I'm not a comedian. I deal with tragedy, but we have similar subjects. You know, the way that you talk about women, I talk about men. I'm sorry. Yeah, so what's wrong with that? Like, if Joe Rogan talks shit about women, um, and this woman talks about men. Isn't that fair? Well, why are people hating on this woman for doing that? That's yeah. great. Are you serious, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do a lot. I'm of so stuff. serious about it that I make it funny. You got to. <laughs> I'm laughing, but usually they're crying, so that's why I like it that way. Uh, <laughs> like it when you're laughing and they're crying? Yeah, well, we could. We could, but. You know, I've heard therapy. a lot about you. Yeah. I've heard from Trey. All fucking true. Trey was uh, shaking when uh, you, <laughs> you called and left the message on the voicemail, and she was like, oh, feel my heart. I did, I did. It's like Elvis Presley. <laughs> So they're just having fun. It's all positive. Like I, I don't think the name calling is um going on right now. Especially the I know. I know. Thank you. 
I do a lot of sex. Well, I would say work, but talk, but it's very ugly. Okay. It's very ugly. Okay, so you might laugh. You probably I'm, laugh, but I'm honey, you wouldn't get any material. Sex, with, you wouldn't get any material out of me like you were getting out of them. So I, I said, look, I'm not with these clownish impersonations of women with no brains, but lots of kids. Oh, well, the ones that are smart. Look never at my eyes when you're talking. Like, I know. Exactly. I always do that. I don't I'm think, think so, Joe. Yeah. Oh yes, yes, I do. Stop the dumb intimidation stuff. I was thinking. I'm allowed to think. I know. I think I looked down. Don't go attacking me. I see where you're going with this. I see exactly where you're going with it. I don't think so, Joe. Don't start that shit with me. How I'm thinking, I look around. It's okay. You're allowed to. I don't have to lock on you and make eye contact. I wanted to hear the thing about Don't tell me how to look at and how to behave. That's silly. Exactly. So here, excuse me. I'll talk to you this I just wanted to get that key point. <laughs> that point was important. The point where you told me to look in the eye? What was I don't know. It annoyed me so much by looking in the eye. I really wasn't paying attention. No, it's because you try to tell people what to do. Don't tell people where to look. That's not how you communicate with adults. You don't tell them, look in my eyes. I'm not your dog, and I'm not a fucking little kid. No, you don't talk to people like that. That's dumb. That's not going to work. I'm going to pull my cigarette out of his nose, but that's okay. You've got to do it. I don't. So don't threaten it. I'm not threatening. This is dumb shit. No, it's fine. Yes, it is. It's fine. No, it's dumb. Yeah. Put your if she talks enough shit to you, you will punch her, right? No. I don't think so. No, you said no. I'm going to shake on that, because I'm not going to punch him either. But, so. but, you know, but don't, don't say you're going to, then. That's retarded. That's what he is. That's dumb. You're no, you say no, I'm not on stage. You're talking. You saying you're gonna burn me with your cigarette? No, you're not burning anybody. That's dopey talk. That's dopey, dumb, dumb talk. Okay, so he accuses her uh, of um, threatening to burn her cigarette on him, and she denied it. But I bet the comments will just believe him. You're not burning people. What are you fucking talk? You're gonna burn people. You're an out of shape older woman. You're not burning anybody. I'm in very good shape. I bet you are. Did, did you hear her say anything about burning a cigarette on him? I didn't hear her say anything like that. But like I said, these comments are gonna side with Joe Rogan because he's a man and she's apparently a feminist. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I know, No, no, this is dopey shit. I'm gonna burn you and then you touch my face. This is this is dope. Oh yeah, she yeah, she did touch his face and then he touched her. Be talk. It might work on other people who are impressed by you. No, not in security. I don't think you're cool. I was nothing but cool to you until you started trying to tell me what to do. Why? Because you're insecure and you're used to people paying attention to you. Immediately you come over to me, you have to tell me about your act and what you do and you do and you do. Okay, so she started, but but Joe Rogan just keeps on raising his voice nonstop. He could have just said like one or two things in retaliation, but he didn't have to go on and on just because she told him to look in her eyes. I mean, are you just, are you that butthurt about, like, a woman telling you to look in her eyes? Like, like, she's obviously not doing that anymore, and, and you're just, like, you're just continually complaining about that. Okay, so maybe she was in the wrong for, for, like, telling him what to do. But he's making a big deal about it. He's making a mountain out of a molehill. So you don't got you guys don't see him like in the wrong here. Like maybe they're both in the wrong, but people only blame the woman, and he's the only one raising his voice. How about just talking as a human being? You ever try that? <laughs> just talking. 
Stop telling That's people what, what to do. Yeah, I'm screaming at you because, you, because you need to hear this shit. Because you're I always listen. dominant over people, no, aren't you? Baby, yeah, I you listen. are. That's why you felt insecure around me. You tried to get me to do what you wanted me to do. Yes. Look me in the eyes, Joe. Don't look down the ground. Whoa. Don't talk to those girls. I know people like you, and you're fucking pathetic. Save them. Don't. It's all dumb. I'm not like you. You might have tricked them. You're not going to trick me. not tricking anybody. Save it. Save it. Go write a book. Dumb people will buy it. That, that really escalated quickly. Like, first they were having a friendly conversation, then she says one thing wrong, and he just goes on and on and on and won't shut up. That's the scenario here. Don't hey, worry. Yeah, I need it. Educate yourself. No, it's ugly. You're dark and mysterious. I forgot because no, you're mystery. unhappy. I'm not. I'm very happy. You're unhappy. Happy. That's very why you happy. fuck with people. Very you're dark happy. and mysterious. Doesn't know me. Mm. Doesn't, know, doesn't know me. I don't have to. That's right. I know. got what I wanted to no, get. I don't think so. I got material out of you. Oh, you should okay. my act now. <laughs> <laughs> I love her dearly, but you're the first man to stand up to her in that, in that respect. Good. You're the guy who likes to get slapped? <laughs> <laughs> It's mutual exchange here. That's all. Well, and that's yeah. why I dig your fucking routine. I don't care what you say to me. Okay, okay mutual exchange. That's all. Wow. It's cool. <laughs> it really is. Look at these stupid misogynistic comments. Violence is bad, but women like this. Like, I already talked to this guy. Okay, so she told them to look. He's only blaming the women. He's only blaming her because she's a woman. He's only siding with Joe Rogan because because um she's a woman. They're, they'll never side with a woman like these these um these scumbag sexist men. They they'll always side with the man. Like like on YouTube, they'll always side with the man. They'll never side with the woman if she's being even the slightest bit aggressive. Like, a man can be aggressive all he wants, but, like, if they see a woman that they presumptually, um, like, presumably don't like, they'll always side with the man. That's how men on in the YouTube comment section are for the fucking past 10 plus years. What the fuck? Why, why, why do women, why are women the only ones who have to behave well? You, don't you see how, how shitty this, this Joe Rogan guy, he was, um... You're the shit, because you're uh, always he, dominant. He, see, he's, he's like uh, cussing at her nonstop. You think that's acceptable? Just because she told him, told him to look at... Him in the eyes one time. Uh, look her in the eyes one time. And then he just goes on and on. And these stupid males in the comments, these stupid misogynistic, misogynistic fuck faces, they, they don't see that. The misogynistic males on YouTube this past decade, you can all go fuck yourselves. Yeah, see? He has a fragile ego. Like, I agree with you, Valerie Solanas. Exactly. He has 
fragile eagle and a loud milk. Yeah, exactly. It's not this woman who is like in the wrong. Maybe she was in the wrong at the beginning, but she only said one sentence that, that wasn't very polite. And yet this Joe Rogan guy, he had to make a, a, like such a big deal for a whole conversation after that. Yeah, exactly. Well, they're not easily triggered when it's a man-on-man -man conversation. But when a woman shows up, they assume she's a feminist, so they just automatically hate on her, even if she's in the right. Okay, so... There's another video showing this. I'm gonna play this again. I'm gonna play this again. And... Since the, the title is not biased, it's just Joe Rogan versus Lydia Lunch. It's not Joe Rogan versus feminist anymore. Uh, like some of the comments were siding with the woman, but they're still, um, like more of them are still siding with the man. Like see, even the even the video uploader he sides with the uh, like Joe Rogan. And he pins this comment, uh, which, which, um, condemns the woman. And, yeah, some... At least this comment acknowledges that both of them were in the wrong. She, he's not just blaming the woman. Yeah. And yeah, this is, this is a sensible comment. Like, I'm glad it got five thumbs up. Reading the comments, I find it interesting that people defend Rogan. A guy attacking a woman the way he does in this video is not cool and pathetic. Rogan is fully in the wrong. Rogan comes across as jealous of anyone who is more successful than him. Lydia Lunch, as annoying as she can be sometimes, like, at times has accomplished quite a bit musically and has a fan base. Yeah. I'm glad on this video there are more comments signing with um, Lydia Lunch, but, uh, um, still more overall, they side with Joe. I mean, he, like, watch this again. She totally made a big deal just because she, she told him to look in her eyes. Be in the eyes, Joe. Don't look down the ground. Whoa. Don't talk to those girls. I know people like you, and you're fucking pathetic. Oh, Save yeah. them. Dumb. Yeah. It's all dumb. I'm not like you. Yeah. You might have tricked them. You're not going to trick me. Yeah, trick She talks like she talks like some Saturday Live character. Hi, I'm Lydia Lunch. I'm showing the video again. I thought I would just cut it. See if I missed something. I love you, Randy. Routine. I'm not a comedian. I deal with tragedy, but we have similar subjects. You know, the way that you talk about women, I talk about men. It's great. It's great. Yeah, yeah. I do a lot. I'm so serious about it that I make it funny. You got to. I'm laughing, but usually they're crying, so that's why I like it that way. <laughs> like it when you're laughing, they're crying. Yeah, well, we could, we could, but it's like therapy. 
you have. I've heard from Trey. All fucking true. <laughs> Trey was uh, shaking when uh, you, uh, you called and left a message on the voicemail, and she was like, oh, I feel my heart. I did. I did. It's like Elvis Presley. I'm like, just kidding. Yeah. yeah, it's true. Well, and I think it's funny. Elvis Presley can be birthday today, so no one even should. It's not his birthday until he died. Yeah, exactly. 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 Yeah,
men on YouTube are going to side with him because she's a woman and he's a man. This is male privilege right here. And they want to talk about female privilege. He, he already presumptuous pres he already presumed that that people are going to side with him so that's why he's he's all excited to upload this to YouTube up to her in that in that respect. Are you the guy who likes to get slapped? It's mutual exchange here. That's all. Oh, that's yeah. why I dig your fucking routine. I don't care what you say to me. Okay, okay mutual exchange. That's all. Wow. It's cool. It really is. I'll go to the No problem. That's just for the fucking website. Uh, <laughs> WFA, you mean? No, no. no. Like, real, just like backyard parking lot. No. Yep. Well, as you can see, Joe, Joe Rogan, he was clearly um out of his mind here. Um. He clearly behaved badly at the, this comment no, right here. He's only focusing on how women behave. Like these men in the comments, they're only, like the YouTube comments only focus on how women behave. They, uh, see, he says, America is full of women like that. That is the decline. So, so why is, so I asked this guy, why, why is it okay? When men act out of line and men act inappropriately. You only know is when women behave badly. Behavior. You only know is when women fucking behave badly. It's only wrong when women, women behave aggressive or behave like in a bad way. But you never know... But when men behave in a bad way, this guy, he won't stop. If, I bet if the roles were switched, they would still, they would still side with the man. If, if it was a woman who kept nagging nonstop about, like, a man saying one thing wrong, they would still side with the man and say that the woman, it, it would, like, call the woman names. These guys, they only focus on when women behave badly. It's only bad when, when women act that way, but it's not bad when men act that way. Go fuck yourselves. Scumbag. YouTube comments. Not you guys. You guys are awesome. Me, me Bev, and Valerie Solanas. You two are awesome. And you too, William. I'm talking about the comments down here. Like these guys. These guys are the scumbags. The social arts club and stuff like that. And I left a comment on his video here. I think this is an older man since he doesn't have video games on his page. Because usually the younger misogynists, they would have a bunch of Call of Duty crap and stuff like that. I wrote a wrote a comment here. If anyone deserves to get a punch in the head, it's Joe. Yeah. Can't you see? People are you. Babe. Yeah, you are. That's why you felt insecure around me. You tried to get me to do what you wanted me to do. See, he just can't shut up just because she said one thing wrong. Again, again, they they only notice when women behave badly. They they only they only um condemn the woman when she behaves badly, but not when a man behaves badly. That is some sexist shit right here. And the YouTube comment section, they've always been a sexist place, a biased against women in favor of men. Even even when the man behaves badly.
he wanted violence and he, he knew a woman is less likely to slap him. Yeah, it's no doubt that um, Joe Rogan knows that this woman is physically no match for him, so um, maybe he's taking advantage of that, maybe he's not. But the point is, um, the problem is not how he acted this one time. That's not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is there are like tens of thousands of comments um, siding with him and say that he's doing nothing wrong and just hating on this woman just because there's feminists in the title and because she's a woman. Because these YouTube comments just assume women are always in the wrong. And that's not even close to the truth. Like sometimes women are wrong, sometimes women are right. That's the objective truth. Sometimes men are wrong, sometimes men are right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I'm not in favor of marijuana usage. It's like... Like, it's still smoking. It still qualifies as smoking. You, you can still get lung cancer from anything that's derived from smoke. And just because it's not tobacco doesn't mean it's, it's um, good for you. in the eyes, Joe. Don't look down the ground. Don't talk to those girls. I know people like you, and you're fucking pathetic. Save it. Don't. It's all dumb. I'm not like you. You might have tricked them. You're not going to trick me. You're not tricking far. anybody. Save it. Save it. Go write a book. Don't be moved by it. Don't worry. Yeah. 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 Educate yourself. No, it's ugly. You're dark and mysterious. I forgot because no, you're unhappy. I'm not. I'm very You're unhappy. Happy. That's very why happy. you fuck with people. Very you're dark happy. and mysterious. Doesn't know me. Doesn't know me. Doesn't know me. Doesn't know me. I don't have to. That's right. I know. got what I wanted to no, get. I don't think so. I got material out of you. Oh, you use your back now. Right. I love her dearly, but you're the first man to stand up to her in that in that respect. Good. You're the guy who likes to get slapped? No. It's mutual exchange here. That's all. Well, that's why I dig your fucking routine. I don't care what you say to me. Okay, okay mutual exchange. That's all. Wow. It's cool. <laughs> okay, I guess it's done. I mean, I'm not saying the woman here is blameless. She shouldn't have touched him and she shouldn't have told him to look in her eyes. Like, he shouldn't have, like, like, ma like, went on and on cussing at her and yelling and cussing at her just because she said that one phrase, look in my eyes. And as you saw, most of the comments side with the man. But even on this video with the non-biased title. People are you. Baby. Yeah, you are. Um, there's still a higher proportion of comments siding with um, uh, the man. So, yeah. But it's interesting. Let's, let's see Joe Rogan talk to Steven Crowder. Oh, they're both conservatives. Where's that video? Like, okay, so when Joe was acting aggressive and yelling at Steven Crowder, the comments were saying, I lost respect for Joe for how he acted here. And I didn't do it. But when he yells at a woman, there's no such comments like that.
See, they're calling now. They're calling Joe out for being angry and rude because he's talking to another man. But they didn't call him out for being angry and rude when he was like he was yelling and cussing at Lady at lunch. But since everyone loves a conservative man like Steven Crowder, he has a bigger fan base than Joe Rogan does. Now they're going to call out Joe Rogan for being rude. So, like, part of the factor to why people side with Joe Rogan is because he has a fan base. But, like, this conservative Steven Crowder guy, he has a bigger fan base. And he supports Trump and everything. So, like, a lot of people support Trump, so so that's why they side with him. And not Joe this time. Just, like, the hypocrisy of men on YouTube. Really. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, me, Beb. Thank you, Valerie Solanas. Seven. And thank you, William. I appreciate all of you.